uh, and this is our project, it's called Doxa Hatcheries. It began in the year 2015 and the reason as to why we decided to do this is because I wanted to solve the problem of unemployment amongst the youth. This machine is supposed to be closed for three weeks without opening it. So what we do, we put the water here. We put here water, so the water goes through the pipe there, coming down until this, this pan here, it's called a humidity pan. So this water here, after some time, begins to produce uh, vapor because there's a heater inside that water that produces the vapor. Now the purpose of that is to prevent the chick inside as the, as the eggs are turning. The chick does not get stuck on, on the shell. Because of that humidity there, the, 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 the vapor from the water. Then also inside here we have heaters. This is where the heat is generated from. Just like a chicken sits on the eggs to warm them. So our temperature is coming from these two heaters here. One here and the other one. So there's one, one is called a main heater. The other is called a subsidiary. It only comes in to help the first one. For example, in case the humidity goes above 60, it's supposed to be 60. If it goes um, above 60, the second heater is switched on to suck out the, to, 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 to reduce on the humidity. If it is, if, if, the, if the humidity is okay, one, one heater is put off. We also have the sensors here. This is what helps us to, to take the temperature inside the egg. Actually, when, when we have loaded this with eggs, we put this on the shell of the egg. It's supposed to rest on the shell of the egg. It reads the temperature of, of the egg. So if it goes above 38, it will alarm and it will switch on what, that fan there, the small fan you saw inside there. That one is called the um, exory fan. It takes out excess heat. So it hap when, whenever anything happens, like the temperature has gone up, that fan will put on, will put on itself automatically. Like. Then we have also the humidity sensor. This one here is what senses the vapor inside Inside, inside that pan there. If you have to look carefully, actually there's a vapor, vapor there. So in case the vapor goes higher, also it will show us from here and then the alarm will, will go off. I'm going to do that very simply, just by breathing on this sensor. By breathing on it, you will hear the alarm going off, meaning the, the humidity has gone higher than required. As you can see, now the alarm has been switched on. When you see this alarm here, it is telling you two things. Either the temperature has gone high or the humidity has gone high. And in this case, it's the humidity because I was breathing on the sensor. Equally, also, in case I... Uh, let's say maybe there's a problem with... Uh, the, the, the temperature has gone high in the machine and it goes above 38. The same thing happens. The alarm will remain as long as these two things. Now the fan has put on itself to try to reduce on the temperature which is inside the exury fan. In case the temperature goes higher than required, like I just used the matchbox to make it higher, the, the fan puts on itself to reduce on the temperature inside the machine. That is why we believe our machine is very accurate, up to 95%. Actually, we have tested it, we have, uh, we have documented it, we have videos, we have pictures, we can prove that. So as long as the temperature is high, that fan will remain on. Until when the temperature is no more at 38, degrees Celsius, then that fan will stop.